high-dose therapy and stem cell transplant, and I would say with this type of immunotherapy approach, at least with rituximab, um, is a very valuable treatment for patients with, with high risk or recurrent um, follicular lymphoma. I mean, the, many of these patients who had you know, relapses uh, very early after their initial frontline treatment for follicular lymphoma, uh, most of our patients had relapses within the first year, which we considered a very high risk feature. Many of these patients now have gone without requiring further treatments for, as I say, a median follow-up of over uh, eight years. Um, you know, so that, you know, I think that that's a big uh, um, advance or an important treatment to be able to offer these high-risk patients so they stay well, uh, enjoy their day-to-day -day life, have a good quality of life you know, after, uh, with these significant illnesses. So that would be the message. This is uh, HDT, high-dose therapy, stem cell transplant, with immunotherapy is, is something that should be considered in these patients.